Because I feel like it, with every relationship, if you're being honest with yourself, have yeah. you always been like, well, maybe that'll change? Or maybe... <laughs> every relationship. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe we all do this. this. And it's not just girls doing that to guys. It's guys doing that to girls. One. <laughs> hey, I'm MJ. And I'm Bree. Welcome to Keeping It Casual. A sex positive dating and relationship advice podcast. Yes, I'm married with two kids. But I'm navigating this crazy dating world. We're just here to share our drama. And the wild stories of our listeners. Your Vegas girls are here for you. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. It's hot outside. We're not giving you a cocktail recipe again no, this week. It's water today. Hydrate, people. Hydrate. It is summer <laughs> and it is hot outside. We love doing our drink of the week. We will get back to that. Don't worry. Absolutely. Once, once fall comes and we can sit by our side again. And oh, I love oh, the fireside pool sessions. Me too. Did get to escape a little bit. I did. Tell you about that in just a minute, but first... Let's talk about Like a Kitten. Shout out to our ladies over there who are doing some really exciting things. We actually just got a box of something really cool that we can't really talk about. But oh, man. D you you can check what was in the box on uh, Instagram TV. It's going to be coming up very soon. Yes. Until then, while you're listening to us, go to likeakitten.com, purchase what you want, and use the code KEEPERS20 at checkout for 20% off. They have these sensual seasonal subscription boxes. They all include motorized toy and all kinds of fun goodies to try at home alone or with a partner and this just in they are revamping their zodiac boxes too oh i love it what season are we in right now we are in leo season oh that's right that's my sister okay. so go to like a kitten.com keepers 20 at checkout and we'll tell you a little bit more about them later absolutely so brie left us on kind of a cliffhanger before i tell you about my giveaway and you said you were getting a wedding your giveaway, dress your getaway yes <laughs> what, what are you giving away to us i'm okay. giving all my secrets she's giving away all the secrets um yeah i um was supposed to have a fake wedding well <laughs> why would you have a fake wedding what what's <laughs> happening <laughs> okay my, my friend's friends opened up a wedding chapel and they needed pictures of like weddings to put oh, in brochures and okay for, like social media and stuff so Marketing she and i photos. were gonna get fake married to each other and uh well she was so funny she was like you could get married to me or to my boyfriend and i was like i want to get married to you not to your boyfriend yeah. and, and i'm good friends with him too but yeah. i was just like i want to marry you <laughs> I, marry him. I don't know is that drawing a line getting fake married to your friend's boyfriend i mean it, it would also <laughs> just be like where are you gonna get a wedding dress at last minute i didn't have a wedding dress i have two white summer dresses so yeah. i was like yeah here we go this yeah. is what's happening if the white summer dresses didn't work to where i could floof them up and make them look like boho bridal yeah i would have gone to the thrift store probably and found something dude that's what mine was mine was like a hundred bucks i was like i refuse to go to david bridal and be a big cupcake when and if i ever do get married i do not want to spend a lot of money on a mm -mm. wedding dress maybe the money will go into my dream pair of louboutin shoes there you go you know to put that cash on your finger and on your shoes exactly <laughs> like i'll wear the red bottoms again when are you ever gonna wear your bridal dress again it's still just taking up space in my closet well yeah your bridal dress is cute though it looks like a summer dress yeah too. yeah it does it's just a flowy casual i've just kept it casual <laughs> what she does okay so tell <laughs> us about venice beach so i have been brie knows this i'm everybody else is like forced to go out in the world to go grocery shopping to do things i have been hiding i watch it's the true. news once a week and i'm like i'm not going anywhere forget it it's true. i'm like i don't want to put a mask on ever who does want to it just sucks yeah. the air out of your face it gets me so nervous because i'm not you're like mm. i'm desensitized i have to go out all the time so yeah. i'm fine with it so yeah, i don't have chris to go grocery shopping for me i know so i realized it was kind of causing me a problem my sister's like we're going out to eat for my birthday and i was like no i'm not going to any restaurants i don't want to go she was just like okay well i get it so i told chris i was like we gotta get to the beach i've had friends that have gone to the beach and it's fine you know you i went to the beach yes you went to the beach our beautiful friend Paige went to the beach you know and she's like there's families on the beach they're playing they're enjoying be safe be smart and it's fine and i was like you know what we need to go so we took their bikes we let them ride around we played in the sand and it was amazing just a day getaway and it was exactly what i needed because yeah. Because yeah. I was, you know, forced to wear my mask and be out in public because we're not just chilling at home. So yeah. it just kind of reminded me that we still have options. We yeah. got to follow these crazy rules, but it's okay. And it was the reset I needed because I 
was just getting stir crazy at home. Releasing the episode Bitchy Woman was no joke because yeah. I was definitely becoming a little hellion at home. Yeah. And um, but also I was getting really I, I was hiding a lot. You know, I just wasn't going anywhere. Yeah. The only place you were coming to was my house. I know. Then there was a fucking earthquake the day that we were planning to leave. And I was like, oh, my God. And I looked oh, at the news oh, the yeah. night before we there left. There was an earthquake in Southern California oh, the day you left. I looked up the news and I'm like, we shouldn't go. And then I started reading everything and I was like, no, we're going. It's, it's OK. It wasn't even that strong of an earthquake. But also they're like, that's the best time to go because it's not like there's going to be like another big one right after that. Oh, yeah. 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 There'll be aftershocks. But it was good for me. It was Yay. just like I needed to reset. Because yeah. once I got home, I was like, that was so amazing to just play in the ocean and be on the on the sand all day just to be back in my home I was like now I can reappreciate my home I needed a reset so if there's any way if you're feeling stir crazy if there's any little thing you can do to reset even it's if it's so just important. like renting an Airbnb in your city because yeah. you can't afford to like leave or, or you know there's like quarantine rules or whatever just get an Airbnb yeah down the street from you. That's what I did. I turned MJ's house into my Airbnb. Damn right. Well, we talked about that a couple of episodes yeah. ago. We were like, you know, we have options. So yeah. remember you have options because sometimes they can scare you to hiding and mm -hmm. hibernating and not doing anything. So be smart and, and take advantage of your options. But I was like, Brie, do you need a weekend pool place to be? Because I was like, yes. please come. Yes. Please use the space. So I uh, threw a little girls day pool party with the people who have been in my circle. Saturday, we, you know, ordered some pizzas and Love I it. like made a little charcuterie. Yes. And we had um, some vodka and rose lemonade drinks, I which know. is like my new drink. It's so good. The it's so good. So refreshing. Oh. It's a Fetman's Rose Lemonade. It's delicious. You can find them at Target, you guys. Yes. It's like a pink lemonade. And I've only been able to find them at Target. I know. Else. Same. I was just so happy that I knew like you could. Because I was like, I bet Brie needs to just get out of her bubble. My and girlfriends did too. We all needed to just get out of the bubble. And yeah. Like and also, um, speaking of like a kitten, they sent us a little treat. And uh, we're going to oh. talk about that more but i decided to to sample a little treat that like a kitten gave us right and it was just right after we'd gotten back and we were chilling and i was like i'm gonna take a bath and just relax and mm -hmm. when i say relax you know what she i'm saying masturbate i'm getting my vibrator out and i'm gonna try this new fun toy and so he, hey babe and he knocks on the door and i was like oh um and it was just like zzz, <laughs> and i was like oh shit and i'm like hold i'm like trying to push the button it was like three buttons on it. I was like it was like zzz. he goes can i come in and you know i don't know maybe he had to pee or something and i was just like Oh, just just hold on and i was like this fucking vibrator won't turn off he's like all right i'll come back later and it was still like Zzz. for like five minutes i couldn't figure it out you and then, should have let him come in I and watch you masturbate but i had a green face mask on <laughs> <laughs> okay never mind you played it good <laughs> it was just like not and like and i'm like why wouldn't you let him in like he like, could have joined the bath with you y'all could have had some fun this shit was for me okay <laughs> you know sometimes it's like this is only for me oh yeah i understand <laughs> that but like as somebody who's only b b only for her for a while now uh You're like come on in and try this out it was not that moment oh it yeah. was like oh my god please don't come in right every now. moment for me is like <laughs> let's try this together it's like let's uh let's pause on this and that damn thing so you know always read the directions when you get a fun new vibrator because sometimes you gotta hold it down for three seconds to five seconds before it will turn off anyways that's annoying getting busted with that that's okay thank you like a kitten for our new vibrators <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we got a why did I date him story yes. and I read it and I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> All right, I was laughing through it. This Please. is a ridiculous dating story. Please bring it. <laughs> I feel as if there have always been constants in my life, but the biggest one has always been dating the wrong guy. Mm -hmm. I love listening to the why did I date him stories, but I have always been too chicken shit to send one in. But after hearing Justine's, I knew it was time to send mine in. <laughs> His name was, I don't think we can say names. We're just going to not say We're names. just not saying names because yeah. we'll just make up names if we really want to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we did that with Sarah. Sarah and Emily. <laughs> um, anyways, his name was Beep. He had two children from a previous marriage and he was 15 years my junior, but he was super cute. What I really liked about him is that he was sober. I was 26 and at the time I was getting very bored with, with partying and drinking. It seemed like all the guys my age just wanted to keep the party going and I wanted something a little more. Mm. You know, I started get, getting that way about 26, 27 too. Oh man, I was letting it up. Oh, <laughs> like all the way. I think until I like had kids, I was like, maybe I should chill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <In> well, 30s. <laughs> I mean, 
mean, I still party, but I mean, like, I was partying hard. Yeah. And then, like, about 26, 27, I was like, I need to chill the fuck out. Yeah, that's about when I settled down. I met Chris when I was 28. Yeah, see? So it's like, when you get to your later 20s, you're like, all right, I'll chill. So I, yeah. I get you, girl. Okay. My girlfriends would make fun of me because I am an atheist and he was born again. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> For some reason, I thought that being around an open-minded individual such as myself, I could help him. I could save the saved one and he would no longer hate the gays <laughs> and believe that men were superior to women. If anyone could totally wow. change his mind, it would be me, right? Oh my well, god. Well, at least that's what I told myself and my friends. Oh my god. <laughs> There's more, god. but I gotta stop to laugh. Oh my for a god. Second. Oh my god. When it came to sex, we had a lot of fun. Woo, for a born again? That's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, Ooh. I don't know I don't know what religion he is, but the one I was raised in, that's not that's a no no until you're married. That's a no no in all religions until you're married. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. When it came to sex, we had a lot of it. And he I see why she said she could sway him. Yeah. <laughs> sway him to the dark side. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and he had a very submissive appetite, which was new for me, but I didn't mind being the dominant one. I try to be a very open-minded person when it comes to sex, but about three months in, he started to become a little incompetent in the bedroom. I thought it was because of his age, but he told me it was because I needed to fulfill one of his fantasies. Yeah. I told him I was down for whatever, but whatever ended up becoming a lot of fucking work. He had me <laughs> usually is, tell me your fantasies. You're like, oh God, now I gotta watch a movie. I gotta watch a video. <laughs> oh no, he had me open up a tinder account and flirt with other men and to get them to send me dick pics didn't want to give my number to strangers so i would give them my snapchat and get them to send me dick pics while i was with my boyfriend because he liked looking at dicks that were bigger than his wow and it ended up being the only way he could get his dick up <gasps> he also asked me to screen record the videos of dudes jacking off and send them to him after we started playing out this kink he would <sighs> not just cry but ball his eyes out after we had sex Every single time. I suggested to him that he might be bisexual and it caused a huge fight. This was the last big fight before we actually broke up. He told me that he confessed to his pastor that he was in a sexual relationship with me and we were unmarried. He told me that he could no longer live in sin and we needed to get married and I needed to convert to his religion. When I told him no, he called me a temptress and a devil woman and said I led him down a spiral to hell. He blamed me for (gasps) his big dick kink and said that I secretly wanted to do that. Parentheses. I didn't wow and seduced him into telling me that we should do that with my subconscious this relationship only lasted nine months but it felt like when i got out of it it was 60 years can you ladies tell me why did i date him i think you dated him because you wanted to Cause you change were, him because you yeah cause you, you were, said it at the beginning of the email you yeah. wanted to change him and you know what also you you were like well if he's if we're fucking and he's, he's not bad he's yeah he's he's not that going into it obviously he was battling some serious demons that he was trying to ignore by the way that was from joanna joanna thank you for sharing that story but oh, that is a doozy girl <laughs> i'm not here to kink shame anybody either but damn like a commercial. Like a commercial. Take one. <laughs> like a commercial. Hey. <laughs> Recorded for the very first time. <laughs> we know how to speak. We promise we do this every single week. You guys, big shout out to our partners, Like a Kitten, who want to help you explore your sexuality and lust for pleasure with their subscription and standalone sex toy boxes. If you haven't checked out likeakitten.com, swing by the website and enjoy all their incredible products and drop the code KEEPERS20 at checkout. Hell yeah. Their summer box was rocking and the fall box is right around the corner. But the kittens are putting together something magical to mm. hit all the pleasure spots and yes we are talking about vibrators yeah and guess what they're rolling out a tease for this month's giveaway yes someone is getting a full-sized sensual treat to tackle any and all orgasms oh yes if you want to get spoiled with a nice vibe and some cool keeping a casual merch all you got to do rate and review head over to apple Podcasts, drop a five star rating and make sure to review too winners are drawn the last wednesday of every month that's right and don't forget to check out likeakitten.com and maybe pick out a box for that cool baby in your life who deserves a fun package in the mail to boost her mood and by mood we mean orgasm that's right like a kitten.com and drop the code keepers 20 at checkout for 20 percent off
that's that's kind of a tough one when it's like when do you let your freak flag out in a relationship and then all of a sudden you're like this is too much for me i've noticed that with me even before we started this podcast or whatever men have always been very open with me like who they are sexually mm. well good then you make them feel confident that they can and, pe- and girls are like too that. people like just come around me and they're like okay is this weird and i'm like no it's not weird but i always <laughs> welcome the conversation to I do sex too. it always ends up in sex and yeah i remember watching porn with a girl who said that her man was into feet and we were like well let's check mm. out some videos of like she's like feet do you th- porn like a foot job like do i was oh. like are you gonna try it she goes i don't know like i might try it and i was like all right i was like well we have to get some information here yes. like what is this like so we watched like four videos and i was like this seems to me i was like this seems dumb <laughs> like what am i supposed to do here <laughs> but i was like do you think you could pull this off she's like i don't think i can fucking that's what she, she was like i don't think i can fucking pull this off like what are I was like i don't know you probably have to get some lube and just kind of I- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys i have no shoes on and i'm trying to demonstrate right now <laughs> like 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 you're watching tv and yeah. just i don't know i don't um, know how you would bring about the foot job but um, i also have like a foot phobia i don't want people's feet near me right. yeah like i think other people's feet are super gross like i want nothing to do with them i have no shoes and no socks on either right now yeah but i'm not staring at your feet okay like i i have this like foot thing if you were to like touch me with your foot i would freak the fuck out and see that's the thing i don't like getting foot massages like i don't like my oh, feet touched I love a foot massage so um like if i'm getting a pedicure that's fine mm-hmm. i guess mm-hmm. but i don't like any of that that's probably why like let's shout back to like this time last year when i talked about nice shoes that's probably why that dude freaked me out oh you're like oh the foot fetish guy i learned a lot about foot fetish guys in my days of you know dancing yes i yes. feel like foot fetish guys you would learn a lot about them do you learn a lot about a uh, big dick guys <laughs> oh my god <laughs> not <laughs> sadly <laughs> sadly yes those are um a rarity <laughs> <laughs> um like okay they would just be like you know instead of like giving me a lap dance can i massage your feet and you're like dude i've been walking around in these like plastic yeah. heels all night like they're mm-hmm. sweaty like th- no and then they're just they like, like them yeah to be a little dirty and sweaty they like that and they're like i just want to massage your feet and you're like it's been four hours you're like I mean, I have been in these heels, so sure. Okay, we ain't talking tomorrow. <laughs> Go yeah. ahead. I think um, if this will benefit us both, please be my guest. <laughs> <laughs> One time I was, uh, this email brought up a memory I have blocked. Oh, I know, me too. And I'm not here to kink shame anybody, but one time I had a guy ask me if I would pee on him. We were like taking a shower together and he was like, look, we're in the shower together and I've been wanting to do this thing. And I was like, what? And I thought he wanted to pee on me and I would be like, fuck it, no. <laughs> then he was like, will you pee on me? And I was like, well, I don't have to go to the bathroom right now. So no, that was my excuse. But I just really didn't want to do it. Like mid shower, like, <laughs> this is a very awkward <laughs> and no, i like i have to. this weird thing about peeing in the shower like i fucking hate it i will not pee in the shower because like i feel like it makes the shower dirty <laughs> <laughs> no comment <laughs> i don't care if other people do it but i don't pee in my shower and oh. there was one time i was hooking up with this guy and i'd spent the night at his house and we decided to shower together next morning and he was like oh i'm gonna go get the water already and he popped in the shower first and i went into the bathroom and i could smell the pee everywhere oh, and i could tell no. he peed in the shower before i got in there and i was like oh. i'll just shower when you're done oh no yeah mm. you, you know what you don't think about these yeah things. some things you do that yeah. you just don't think are a big deal yeah. you get around other people you're like oh my god they're like you do this and you're like oh well i didn't know that was <laughs> a big a, deal yeah so i mean maybe guy with the big dicks he well no you he said you tempted him with your subconscious that's wow. so fucking you I'm fed so you fed into his desires you were like yeah i support this yeah. let's go for it and you know good you for probably you. wanted to see some big dicks too yeah like, you're like all right this could be fun and then you're like god oh, this is a lot of work because you're like in this relationship but then you have to be like pretending to flirt with dudes online and then, oh god it sounds fun and then all of a sudden you're like this isn't fun anymore no. like this is this has gone sideways what happened here I wonder what happened to my good christian boy <laughs> who cries now he, she said he cried after sex have you ever had somebody cry after sex no i have <laughs> i have cried after sex very very good really intense orgasm 
but mm. um no yeah. mine was because it was like we're supposed to make up after this mm-hmm. like this was like makeup sex and oh, then i was yeah. still willing to fight afterwards because this, the problem wasn't solved oh so yeah. like we had sex and then i was like i just don't know why you <laughs> oh no <laughs> but i think that it probably was a little bit of makeup sex now that i think about it mm. and you're just like all those emotions yeah just like, i love you I'm like we can't be fighting this oh this is so good yeah this, <laughs> this continued the fight the sex should have ended the fight but this continued the fight because i i'm the type of person that makeup sex for me is like that's the end all be all and i wanted the fight to end so i initiated the sex in this moment Mm -hmm. and then when the sex was over i was still like nah this ain't done yet still mad i'm still (laughs) i still got stuff to say (laughs) (laughs) oh god um yeah thank you for sharing that so much i mean i have no idea why you dated him i really think you wanted to change him yeah and i think i think you were kind of swept up in the whole like oh he doesn't drink and i'm done partying and he has kids and he's a good family man and i'm ready to settle down a little bit more and then it got weird you're like i'm gonna take the guy that has a few beers and you know maybe he's a little more (laughs) a little more wild but a little more normal side for me you know there's such a balance no i agree that there is a balance like you don't want the extreme party guy the guy in between i feel like with every relationship if you're being honest with yourself have you always been like well maybe that'll change or maybe (laughs) every relationship (laughs) i'm sorry we we Maybe all this do this and it's not just it's not just girls doing that to guys it's guys doing that to girls i wonder what they wanted to do you know but you think like what were they probably like it's like yeah maybe she'll stop peeing in the shower <laughs> <laughs> For me, I'm sure there's a lot of things that they're like, oh, God, I wish you would stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, or you just think they're going to change. Yeah, I have. I know I have a lot of annoying quirks it comes to my attitude. It's the real world. People stop getting nice and start getting real. You know, <laughs> it only just happens happens all of a sudden, and then they start getting real about their kinks and stuff, and then you're like, can I handle all this? I try to That's... be pretty upfront with my kinks very early on, because yeah. I don't think my kinks... My kinks are very vanilla in the long run of, like, kinky kinks that can kink. Yeah, I think when I think about that yeah yeah i pretty much like let out the animal like right in the beginning i'm like you want some (laughs) dude the same well because it's like you want it (laughs) buckle up motherfucker (laughs) give me your belt (laughs) i'm just like up a lot of i do a fucking pie chart of like here's 70 percent of what i want like 90 percent of this you're also like if you can't handle this then uh you can't handle it and also i want to put it down like they're like this is what you're in for i'll save some treats for later yeah you gotta you can't throw it all out at the beginning but my super repertoire i want you to feel that vibe exactly (laughs) exactly i want to lure you in and i don't want to scare you my 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 go-to moves the first time i have sex with somebody are the back massage Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the blowjob yeah and then the post-coital back <laughs> massage. That's what that's what gets them to come back again. I, I, I think I've mentioned this before. It was funny, though, because right in the beginning when Chris and I started hooking up, and I think I slapped him one day, like, just kind of playful. Mm-hmm. But I missed his cheek and kind of just slapped him, like, right in his ear on the side of his head. <laughs> he, like, moved or something. He was just kind of like, ow, what the fuck? And I was like, oh, that's good. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't it. You're like, yeah, little bitch. No. That went wrong, you know. I am. Um, I, oh god I, I kind of sometimes get caught up in the moment and forget certain things mm-hmm. that like because when i'm on top i like to choke a guy you know yeah you, you will pay, i'll grab the face and be like you will pay attention to me and like little, grab his little pressure around the throat yeah mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um i did <laughs> yeah i did that with the guy i slept with last year i'm, I'm referencing this episode a lot <laughs> sex in and out of the city y'all oh yeah, yes. that's right is that what it was yep cute shoes was in that episode and so was uh this guy anyways i ended up becoming friends with his roommate and his roommate was like so uh here you're into uh choking and i was like what oh and he goes yeah he uh he told me that you kind of got on top and like grabbed his throat and told him he better pay attention and i was like yeah <laughs> i think i think growing up as ladies in our 20s like we just assumed all guys like that <laughs> i just think <laughs> And I was like, oh shit. I was like, I don't even remember asking. Like, we were kind of drunk. So These wild like, Vegas yeah. nights. Like, I was, those guys I was like, I didn't ask him if he liked that. I didn't ask him for consent for it. And he was like, no, nah, he liked it. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he bragged about it the next day. He Ta- was like, he was kind of weird about it at first. And then he was like, no, nah, it was kind of cool. And then he's like, I looked at him and I was like, them titties though. And he was like, them titties. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. We all admire them. Yeah. We just want to bring it in for the big squeeze. <laughs> but um, I, I'm talking about a hug though <laughs> yes 
I mean, I could smother your face with them too if you really need. <laughs> We all kind of get into these weird, these not weird. I don't want to say weird, but like our, we have our own little thing and then we do them and then we're like, oh, wait, that might be not what somebody else is That's into. Maybe not his thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, consent has been, it's been a thing for a long time, yeah. but it was just more like you assume what people yeah. like going into. You're like, I mean, it's hard when you're first having sex with somebody and you know, you're like, okay, I don't want to scare them off. I always hate the first I, time having sex with yeah. somebody. I was, I mean, I think I was just extremely confident. I'm like, I'm going with all the tools, man. Here's the, have, here's the way I'm gonna put it on you. You and know, that's the thing is like I can have my insecurities wherever. I've never been insecure in the bedroom. I'm always very confident when it comes to sex. As the times have changed, I mean, as it's been like over 10 years you know so mm -hmm. going into it just like i'm going to show you all the moves and i'm not going to ask you what you like and now it's like you have to be a lot more cautious to talk yeah. to people about what they like and what they're what's okay and what's mm -hmm. not okay so things are so different now you know? i know and it, it, it's funny coming from guys who are kind of assholes who will do exactly what i want them to do mm -hmm. to hooking up with a very very sweet person mm -hmm. when i'm like okay smack my ass and it's just kind of like boom oh yeah and i'm like no smack it so you turn around and slap him in the ear yeah <laughs> it's true <laughs> amp it up a little bit it's definitely a very different time to jump into bed with somebody mm -hmm. and just assume they like all these things mm -hmm. so i guess it's a lot of talking about it before and that's a that's and another topic for another episode want to hear me talk about but play and ass licking go listen to the episode of no nice guys wow <laughs> yes okay yeah i like that transition bam wow. uh brie was on a, a dope podcast with i was the laura season two premiere episode thank you so much to laura coronado go listen to the no nice guy episodes just dropped i we recorded it so long ago i had forgot what i had talked about and then i listened back to it and i was like damn i'm funny as hell i'm listening on the <laughs> way home like now. yes okay I, we gotta we gotta get her on too yes we do do. All right, well, we're, we have dinner plans with a very dear friend. She used her pool as the first keeping it casual photo shoot. Hell yeah, she's our very own Samantha Jones. So we're going to go visit with her. And until next time. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, good times. We hope you related. If so, let us feature you. Email us at feedback at keeping it casual podcast.com or show you're a keeper on Facebook. Like the keeping it casual page and join the group. Yes, bonus. If you rate and review on Apple Podcasts, you get into our monthly keeping it casual swag giveaway. It's the last Wednesday of every month. More hookups when you share us on your Instagram stories mm -hmm. at keeping it casual podcast. That's right. Find me anywhere socially at MJ Radio Diva. And I'm everywhere at Bremixed B-R-E-E-M-I-X-E-D Keep it casual Bye Bye